Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to today's topic of discussion, which is conceptualizing Azure Quantum Core for enterprise solutions. Myself, Om Prakash Pandey, I am AVP Delivery at Synergetics IT Services Private Limited. In today's overview session, what we are going to discuss about is what are the key challenges that the entire industry is facing and how quantum computing is bringing out the new solutions towards it. Apart from it, we will be also discussing about what is the Microsoft solution for quantum computing. As part of Azure Quantum, apart from the core infrastructure which is being given, what are the development options available over here using Q Sharp SDK. Along with it, we will be discussing about the features of Azure Quantum. We will be looking at some of the solution architectures as we proceed ahead. And we will quickly discuss about the implementation steps. Make sure you are up throughout the entire overview topics so we can understand each of these aspects one after the other. Let's proceed ahead and look at the quantum computing overview. Now, most of you all who are attending this session, I am sure you will have some idea of what is quantum physics all about. And one of the recent trends that you all must have seen, the most important aspect over here is quantum computing. Now, as part of quantum computing, there are multiple aspects as you all can see over here. As part of your modality, you have your qubit modality, which is about superconducting topological qubits, right? Understanding about ions over here. So once it comes to quantum computing, one of the fundamental aspects is taken up from physics and how do we solve the latest challenges that we are facing over here. By understanding this qubit modality, what organizations have done is they have developed a hardware towards it. So a quick example which I would want to put over here. Now once it comes to various organizations and people are looking at incrementing from 0 to 1, that is innovations. So quantum computing can be seen as an innovation. One of the core examples I would want to put over here is an electric bulb is not a much improvised candle. There has to be a totally new era or new hardware which has to be developed. And that's the reason why the second aspect over here is very, very critical, which is quantum hardware. So number of organizations like INQ, Honeywell, IBM, Google, different vendors have been creating their own quantum hardware. Now, once we talk about these technologies, there will always be a scenario where we have on-premises environment and we have the cloud environment as well. So, Yes, there are various implementations within on-prem environment, which is your classical hardware and there is cloud-based solutions as well. Now, apart from this hardware, there always will, will be an application in front of it, right? The application development. So like you have C Sharp and other technologies from a language or Java from a language perspective, you also have respective SDK and software tools, which will help us build solutions towards it. So here you have something called as Q sharp, you have quantum simulators, right? I'm, I'm saying it's not that easy to build a quantum simulator, but yes, these are the tools which are available given by various vendors, which can simplify this process for you. One aspect is we keep struggling with number of hardware solution providers, number of other options, or we can take a giant leap by getting into association with some of the vendors. Right? And these vendors can give us solutions towards it. So Azure Quantum is what I'm going to talk about. But apart from that, you have options available within, uh, within AWS and Google Cloud as well. Now, once you have this environment ready, the hardware aspect of it, the software aspect of it, the service provider with its platform, what next? So here guys, what we can do is we can build number of user applications over here, which can assist us in terms of portfolio optimization in terms of quantum machine learning, right? So as we go ahead, I will discuss about some of the scenarios over here, right? Keeping in mind, what are the next options available for it? Now, if you look at the quantum members, there are two important members over here. 
So one is the compute providers and second is the optimization providers. So your core solutions like Quantinum, INQ, RigidT, these are set of computing providers. Whereas optimization providers, if you see, it is one qubit, right? Your Toshiba SBM, these are set of other solution providers that you have. Now each of these options, when we are looking at, will make sense when we are working with these solutions, right? And how we can create these resources. Now, looking at some of the key use cases from perspective of quantum computing, it can help us in faster searching. Now, why is it becoming more and more important? Guys, if you'll see the amount of data being generated on day-to-day -day basis and different types of data, that is becoming a bigger challenge to handle. Earlier, we had few GBs of data, which has moved to TBs and now moving into petabytes or zettabytes of data. And a lot of unstructured data is making the scenario even more difficult. That's the reason why we need a new era or a innovative technology which can help us optimize these solutions. Second important option is making sure we have a right set of security solutions for it, right? So quantum use case, quantum can also help us in terms of data transfer, in terms of data security, using lot of new algorithms which were not existing earlier. Third and very important aspects over here in terms of environmental studies, in terms of coming up with newer technologies, what people would need is molecular studies. Lot of physical challenges that people are going through, what needs is a new era of solutions for it. So for drug testing and for other options, we would require quantum solutions for it. With increase in traffic, with increase in vehicles on day-to-day -day basis, where people are trying to tap into traffic optimization, right? Material design, checking for various signal processing like MRI scans. These would be some of the core use cases. And each of these members that you'll see, you would realize that there are so many factors or so many parameters which are involved over here, right? So the kind of machine, the kind of mechanics or the algorithms would be very, very close to what we have been doing with supercomputers earlier. Now, I'm not here to scare you with so many big ideas, but I'm going to talk about some of the solutions which are being achieved in collaboration with Microsoft. So let's go ahead and look at the options over here. So if you look at the core stack, what I discussed earlier was quantum devices, right? So INQ, Honeywell, QCI, right? Even Microsoft, all these vendors are giving up the quantum devices. On top of this, you have your quantum control, right? Different set of controllers. And two examples that you all can see over here is your room temperature controller, cryo controllers. Now one would say, Om Prakash, how are they different from the IoT solutions by Microsoft? So I'll reiterate myself. IoT is primarily in terms of pretty small set of uh, data capture or solutions there. Vis-a-vis quantum is it has is it at, at at much much higher level as compared to IoT. So IoT sessions we will have a separate one. So I'll come to that part a bit later. Now on top of these controllers we have our Azure platform and like I mentioned earlier about Q Sharp and the respective QDK for that. On top of that. See, whenever you start off with any new environment, you would be looking at a template. So what Microsoft has done is, Microsoft has given up plethora of templates for us in terms of quantum solutions. So we can leverage on that. And the prior solutions which I mentioned about, like optimizations, compute, cryptography. So all these algorithms are being pre-built over here. So what we can do is pick up these resources, put the data in the storage account, right? And like how we have been using Azure Batch in past, we can make use of those members over here. So if you look at this Azure Quantum, Azure Quantum is actually an implementation of these quantum technologies from perspective of Azure platform. It is open, flexible, future-proofed path. So where Microsoft is saying, I, uh, you don't have to only stick to Microsoft hardware which is being given, you can leverage and build a hybrid solution with other members as well. So that 
we are more user focused we are more user centric rather than just trying to bring in microsoft enforced solutions so when i was talking about having a partner ecosystem microsoft is very well known for doing these things so you can check out for solid state ai or strange works or river lane so there are number of partner ecosystem which is evolving around microsoft quantum now if you look at these options over here so with azure core platform you have your topological qubits which are available so like you have bits 0 and 1 similar to that you have topological qubits over here and on top of that you can have a scalable quantum control now this is the infrastructure part of it now on top of this infrastructure you have your developer community which is playing a very very vital role over here so using quantum development kit using q sharp as a programming language and there are like how you have dot net libraries dot net core libraries and respective core samples and templates for it same way you have your quantum development kit available over here now based on these resources we can go ahead and create our quantum accelerated apps without having to worry about what and uh, having an abstraction of the hardware which is very very expensive microsoft is saying okay let's focus on the implementation of quantum compute that is what is an important aspect over here uh to make the scenarios simpler for us you should also look at quantum pricing slightly higher as compared to other services so if you are using these services for one uh, one hour or so it's absolutely free if you go beyond that and if you are looking at something like parallel tempering or tabu search or quantum monte carlo in these cases the costs are slightly higher it can go up to 8 uh, 800 or 900 rupees approximately depending upon which region of the globe you are connecting from right my request to all of you all would be to look at the free tier over here right there is also a 500 dollar credit which microsoft is offering for trying out basic solutions by using quantum core right so you can leverage on that so that brings us an end to the quick overview of what is quantum core all about and what is azure quantum thank you very much for attending this session and i hope it was a great experience for all of you all we have many such videos which will be coming up in the near future so please stay tuned to our youtube channel thank you very much once again